All right, folks, this is day one of the Mom's Not Home Chronicles. Yeah. Uh, we are pretty self-sufficient, tough guys, the two of us. We can handle many, many things, but... Uh, what do we call that? I don't know either, huh? Uh, Murphy. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Good old Murphy tends to show up uh, when Mom's not around. And quite frankly, the same when Dad's not around. Whenever uh, Grant and Lara uh, attempted to move Jewel when I wasn't home, uh, she escaped and ran all over the place, ate out of our garden boxes, and it was kind of a nightmare. Um, and so this is what we are experiencing as Mom has left. Nothing devastating, nothing, whoa, nothing crazy. But uh, just for example, we're running, we're late right now. Um, our camera, our expensive camera, our YouTube camera, broke, uh, will not, well, whatever, it's completely useless. Uh, Jewel kicked over the milk stand twice, peed on the milk stanchion, pooped on the milk stanchion. I dropped my iPhone in the cow poop, um, and when cleaning it out, uh, killed the audio on the phone. I did since get that fixed. Um, now we are running late, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something. It has been one heck of a morning. We're still smiling. We still have good attitudes. Uh, just have to document uh, that Murphy has shown up yes. today. And man, if only I had the camera. This is actually Grant's camera that you're looking at right now because mine is broken. Um, man, how awesome of a video that would have been to see uh, Jewel throwing a hissy fit this morning. Yeah. We're headed to town so we can buy stuff, so we can make stuff for the farmer's market on Saturday. Today is Monday, and we have our work cut out for us because we're missing 33% of our team. Uh, Miss Lara is visiting family out of state, snuggling baby and helping out her brother. Anyways, that's beside the point. Off we go. We will document this week for you. Hopefully, we survive. Whoa. Try it. Walk backwards and Jewel is guiding me. Whoa, that's a little intimidating. We just set up. Come on, buddy. There he is. We just set up a new set of four strand wires yesterday but we made quite a bit of acreage available to these animals to where I don't necessarily have to move them as much. They can graze and decide where they want to hang out. Whew. Come on, little guy. Four or 500 pound little guy. All right. Well, into the green we go. All right, pretty sure these are happy cows. This is an area that we cleared right behind our house. There's the house. And this was mostly sweet gum trees. As you can see, the young saplings are still coming up, but that's food to these guys. I will eventually put a wooden gate between these T-posts. But right now, this attaches this paddock to this paddock. And if ever we want to close that gate and make sure they stay in a certain area, we'll be able to do that shortly. That is the purpose of what I'm doing here. The four strand, specifically for the goats. Jewel and Milo respond very well to a two strand fence, uh, but I wanna put the goats out here as well. They need to forage dare I say, even more acreage than the cows do. Though they are super destructive critters, the goats are. You know, if you have any brushy, overgrown, like this, land that you want cleared, my opinion, goats are the way to go. All right, sweaty already. It's uh, pushing 
maybe 9.15. All the chores are done. We start at 8.30, so 45 minutes isn't bad. All right, time to make the bread. Lara is not here, and I am very inexperienced in bread making and jelly making, and I didn't even film my jelly making experience on Monday or Tuesday, whatever day that was. Well, because I was a little overwhelmed and uh, didn't really think about it. And maybe there was subconsciously, I didn't want to look like a fool in front of all of you guys. But... It turned out well. I made four batches, two muscadine, two mayhaw, ran out of jars. Apparently there's a uh, jar shortage in rural areas. But uh, We've managed to get a few, so they'll be here soon, and we'll make some blackberry. And uh, today and tomorrow, bread making day. No tutorials, but I'll show you what we get into. So before we get started making bread, we gotta make sure we have the appropriate dishes to make the bread. So Mr. Grant is putting away clean dishes from the dishwasher and putting the dirty dishes from yesterday into the dishwasher. And 10.53, we're finally getting around to making breakfast. Yes. But that is a necessary part of our success today. We have to eat some food. So we can do that real quick. And then we will show you the, the fumbling around of making bread. All right, so for those of you that make bread or bake things on a regular basis, uh, I don't. Check this out. Poof. It has risen. That one's kind of ugly. What happened? Do. Oh! All right, folks, sandwich bread. This will make four loaves. I'm supposed to dump it out onto a floured surface. Put it in bread pans. And then put it in the oven for whatever the recipe says, I can't remember. Not the first attempt at making the sandwich bite. It's not bad. A little extra flour on the top. Well, I think that's just lack of experience. Oh yeah, and this noisy thing over here. Making all the butter. I mean all the racket.
It's shake and bake, and I helped. <laughs> oh yeah. So in the process of collecting eggs over the last several days, weeks, our bucket has been coming in empty because our chickens aren't laying eggs. Must be too hot. Maybe they don't have enough water. Maybe there's a change in diet. Or maybe we're not looking hard enough. Yep, yeah, we've got eggs. I've been dumping large amounts of produce down here just on the ground for these girls. Mostly apples right now. They don't seem to be too bit disappointed. They're getting pretty fat. But what I wanted to show you is the, uh, the volunteers that have shown up. This is a squash plant. Quite a few of them actually. Volunteering. It used to be where a hay bale sat, so a lot of moisture is retained in the ground. Some grass is starting to grow up. I mean, this all looked like this not long ago. But now we have grass growing, squash growing, and there's a couple of tomatoes too. They just showed up out of nowhere. I don't know what these are. Pretty sure they're just weeds. But there's a bunch of those too, so we'll see how mature these plants get before we cut the beasts loose on them. Thank you, Pinky. What a good mama she is. <laughs> if you're a young man, and your mom is the type that licks her hand and fixes your hair. Don't feel bad. You're not the only one. We baked, I don't know, a thousand loaves of bread. If it looks messy in here, excuse me. But just ingredients, I gotta pick up. You ready to rock, Mr. Grant? You ready to go back to sleep? <laughs> it's almost time, folks. About 7.30 in the morning, we're all set up for the Shreveport Farmer's Market. Oh yeah, everybody's getting amped up, ready to go. It's getting exciting. <laughs> 